Hello everyone, my name is Christian, welcome to my hobby blog. So, this is something totally impromptu, this review. So, I just finished The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by Victoria Schwab. And usually I'm pretty structured when it comes to book reviews. Usually I write up a little word document, but I just finished this. Like... Five, ten minutes ago. It is almost 1 a.m. on Monday, April 6th. And I am freaking out. This is one of the best books I've ever read. I loved the writing of this. This will not be a spoiler review, by the way, because everybody needs to read this. If you want to know how good it is, go find yourself a copy and read it. First and foremost, what the story is about is about a woman who, in order to avoid getting married in 1704, I believe, or 1714 is, is one of those, she makes a deal with a forest god to let her be free and to have, uh, and to never have to, uh, I think fall in love, something like that. And the forest god twists her words and makes it so she can live forever for as long as she wants, but nobody can remember her. And so there's a really interesting process that she goes through. Most of this book is internal monologue and I love it. I don't know how to talk about this without spoilers, but many parts of this book she is slowly learning the extent and rules of her curse and the most interesting part of it is that the forest god who she names luke follows her and pops up sometimes once a year sometimes he won't show up for 40 years and we go all the way to present day 20 14 and we slowly learn about her life she, it's going back and forth between right when she gets the curse to present day and then like 10 years later and back present day 10 more years later and we watch her kind of accept the curse and it is just amazing this is one of the few books where i feel like i'm going to have post book depression because I spent maybe two or three days reading this. It's been longer like in terms of how long it took me to read because there were days where I just couldn't read it because I have an exam due tomorrow actually and as part of my break for my exam I was like I have 40 pages left. I'm gonna finish this tonight. There are many sad moments in this book that just made me have to put down the book and walk away because I haven't read too much of Robin Hobbs Realm of the Elderling series that's like the gold standard that people always mention about books that just pound the main character down with depression and betrayal and all this stuff and this book is sad in different ways because this happens pretty early on so it's not too big of a spoiler but right after she gets her curse she goes home and she's like oh my gosh mom dad I can't believe what happened and they're like who are you get out of my house and she's like no please please let me in and she's just sobbing it's a very depressing read and so after a day of her waiting but they forget that she's there like at her door waiting for them to like come back with like tea or something she's waiting waiting and finally she gives up and goes to her best friend's house who she grew up with and she uh she shows up and her best friend is now uh a mother of like two young children and she 
she asks her for help and is like, hey, we grew up together, like, we're best friends, like, I know you, I know your husband, I, you know, I babysat your kids for a while, and she's like, no, I don't know you, I've never seen you in my life, I don't remember you, and so there's this constant depression, and there's a really haunting scene where they let her in right after her parents deny her. She says, we'll go and get you tea real quick. And so they walk away. And this is before she knows that, like, when they they turn their back on her, they totally forget who she is. And so they turn her their back and they go get tea. But they finish making the tea and they're like, why did I make this again? And they're just kind of like, okay, I guess I'll go to the kitchen. They go to the kitchen, she's there, and they drop the tea and they're like, how did you get in here? And it's, like, really sad and they're like... The kids are like crying and it's like really just oh my gosh this entire book was just case after case of our main character getting kind of beaten down and I everyone just needs to read this this is such a great book and I'm really excited because Victoria Schraub, the author of this book, she, uh, I follow her on Instagram, and she's always uh, updating, talking about how this book, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, got, uh, has been on the New York Best Time newsletter, whatever, the top uh, best-selling list for like 30 weeks in a row or something. This is a pretty new book. It came out last year, as far as I know. And there's also a lot of uh, great author tags on the back. You have Neil Gaiman, who I haven't read. Naomi Novik, who I own a few of her books. I need to get into it. Alex Harrow, who I don't remember, but... Another big note that I really like about this book is the queer representation in this book because none of them are token characters. They're just real people in this book. All of them have really unique personalities, very believable. There was a lot of romance in this book. And I think it's not as big of a fantasy book that everyone called it. It's more of a romance. There's a lot of gay and queer romance relationships in this book. And I loved reading about that because it's just so real. Like, Victoria Schraub has a way of making it feel like I'm reading a biography about someone who's 300 years old and it's totally real. And... There's just many parts in this book where you watch our main character have to do things that she doesn't want to, but she has to in order to survive. Because although she won't die of hunger because she's immortal, she will still have the effects of super hunger. There's a point early on in the book, like like 1710, well, it was like 10 years after she first got... Um, her curse when she actually dies and she like wakes up like the next hour like slumped against an alleyway or she crawls out of a mound of corpses from like one of those hearses I think you call them it's the if you've seen Monty Python bring out your dead and they're on the cart it's that kind of thing and there's a pretty humorous moment when uh, the people who are piling the dead bodies on the cart are freaking out over this woman climbing out when they swore that she was dead. And everything else in that section is really morbid and grotesque, but that's really all I have left to say. This is one of the best books I've ever read. I don't give many books five stars on Goodreads, I don't even think I've given 
aside from Hero of Ages, I don't think I've given any Brandon Sanderson novels five stars. So you know this is the big this is a big deal. It's also really short. It's four hundred and forty two pages, I believe. And each page looks like that. It's like not too much text. And the nice thing about this book is that each chapter is like three pages. At most five. And because it's just constant. Uh, how do I want to say? A lot of it is internal, as I said earlier. Around the middle of the book, it becomes more dialogue heavy, but the first half of the book, the first 200 pages, is just her reacting and her learning the extent of a curse. It's just amazing. And so, that's it. That's all I have to say. If you've read this book, please comment and let's gloat over how awesome this book is. I loved it. And I... I have a uh, darker shade of magic i think that's one of her fantasy books i had i had that on my want to read on my tbr on goodreads and i just pushed it like way to the top on my buy list because her writing is just incredible and so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you uh like this video so it gets sent out more to the broader booktubing community and don't forget that i do have a discord channel now i, ha I will have the link in the description that way you can join and you can talk to me get my opinions on books or if you want clarification i can do that or if you want to just hang out that's cool too i'd love to have more people in the discord channel so Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.